गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक इज इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म हियर इज द कंटेंट इन विच फर्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म कॉजेज ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म फेरो मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स क्यूरी टेम्परेचर एंड क्यूरी वेस्ट लॉ एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म फॉर मैनी डी केट्स मैग्नेटिज्म हैज़ बीन एन एनॉमली दैट गेन द साई ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी एनी ऑफ इंटेंसेस इन मैन काइंड लाइफ वन माइट श्योरली कन्फर्म द परमानेंट मैग्नेट एंड सो टूडे वी शाल मूव विद द डिस्कशन टू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म फेरो मैग्नेटिज्म वर्ड इज अराइज फ्रॉम द वर्ड फेरस विच मीन्स आयरन विच वॉज द फर्स्ट मेटल नोन टू शो अट्रैक्टिव प्रॉपर्टीज टू मैग्नेटिक फील्ड it defined as the material that is highly attracted to magnets and can become permanently magnetized is called ferromagnets and the phenomenon is called the ferromagnetism it has property of permeability more than one and also have high susceptibility causes of ferromagnetism naturally iron is ferromagnetic it have the magnetic domain which is random when they are placed in the external magnetic field they become parallel and remains parallel as the diagram shows after the removal of the magnetic field hence the iron gets magnetized permanently next topic is ferromagnetic materials ferromagnetic materials are those which exhibit strong magnetic properties when placed in similar direction of the field even after the removal of the magnetic field some unpaired electrons so that atom have a net magnetic moment it is generally a small local in this material that has a particular spin alignment because of the quantum mechanical exertion the permeability nature of these materials is very high and its range almost several thousand the reverse magnetic effect of the electron spin and the orbital motion will not get eliminated in these material due to the internal magnetic field the property of the magnetic field will be increased properties of ferromagnetism the atom of the ferromagnetic substance have a permanent dipole moment present in the domain atomic dipoles in ferromagnetic substance are oriented in the same direction as the external magnetic field the magnetic dipole moments is large and is in the direction of the magnetizing field the intensity of the magnetizing is very large and positive varies with linear with the magnetic field hence the saturation is depend on the nature of the material ferromagnetic substances are strongly attracted by the field so in a non uniform field they have a tendency to stick at the poles where the field is strongest therefore if a ferromagnetic powder is placed in the watch glass on a two poles then the powder accumulates at the sides also when the ferromagnetic substance is liquefied it loses the ferromagnetic properties due to the higher temperature examples of the ferromagnets only the few substances are the ferromagnetic the common ones are the iron cobalt nickel is the most common and most of the alloys and some compound of the rare earth metals iron iron is transition metal and has the amorphous magnetic iron is used in power generation and distribution nano wires and the shape memory alloys second one is cobalt one of cobalt is one of the transition metal and has a qt temperature 1388 kelvin cobalt has been used to create the strong magnets for carbon nanotubes and electronics nickel nickel is another transition metal it can be magnetized in laboratory by rapid quenching the liquid alloy gadolinium it is a silvery white highly ductile rare earth metal used as a neutron absorber in nuclear reactor has the strong magnetic field dysprosium it has a metallic silver luster and is more commonly found inside the mineral it has high magnetic susceptibility which means it is easily polarized in the presence of the strong magnet applications ferromagnetic materials used as a flux multiplier developing the nuclear electromagnetic machines 
Preservation of the data recording Use for non-volatile data storage in hard drives, tapes, electrical equipments like transducer, microphones and capacitors. Also use device in such as the generator, telephone, loudspeakers, magnetic strips and at the back side of the credit card and debit cards. Here is a picture show the rare earth magnets are exceptionally strong ferromagnetic material that produce the magnetic field of 1.4 tesla. Next topic is Curie temperature. The Curie temperature is named after the Perry Curie who shows the magnetism was lost at the critical temperature above the Curie temperature. The material becomes permanently paramagnetized as the atoms loses this order of magnetic moment when the material undergoes a phase transition. At the Curie temperature, higher temperature makes a magnet weaker as the spontaneous magnetism only occurs below the QD temperature. Magnetic susceptibility above the QD temperature can be calculated from the QD West law which is derived from the QD law. So we will go to see QD West law. It is defined as the above QD temperature there will be change in the susceptibility as the material becomes paramagnetic. Therefore, the giving equation shows here the C is Curie constant, capital T is absolute temperature and TC is a Curie temperature. In this table show the susceptibility of diamagnetic is negative and the positive for the paramagnetic and the highly positive for the ferromagnetic. TC Curie temperature for the different materials. In this table shows the QD temperature of some pure metals like iron has 770 degree celsius cobalt has 1115 degree celsius nickel has 354 degree celsius gadolinium has 19 degree celsius what happened to the ferromagnetic when heated above the QD temperature at any finite temperature above the zero Kelvin, thermal energy causes the magnetic dipole of a ferromagnetic material to deviate from perfect parallel alignment as the temperature increases. some critical temperature reaches where the material completely disappears and becomes the paramagnetic. That means the magnetic dipoles are oriented in random fashion because of which the net effect of the magnetic property becomes nil as the figure is shows. This is the graph of nickel element. Magnetic saturation versus the temperature shows the magnetizing property changes from the ferromagnetic to the paramagnetism as the temperature increases. So as the magnetic saturation decreases until the temperature falls to the zero at the Curie temperature where the material becomes the paramagnetic. Thank you.